What we want to do is show there exists a number delta bigger than zero. This is the Greek letter delta such that if x minus 2 is smaller than delta in absolute value <clears throat> then x squared is closer to 4 than epsilon where epsilon is a given positive number. This is a, a standard problem in calculus. Now to do this problem I need to first understand x squared minus 4. Observe that x squared minus 4 is equal to this product and so the absolute value of x squared minus 4 is equal to the product of the absolute values. Now I'm just going to pick a positive number and I'm going to pick 1 and I can say that if the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than 1 then x minus 2 is between 1 and negative 1. So if I add 1 to here, here, and here I find that 0 is less than x minus 1 less than 2. Now what does that imply? Well if I add 1 to here, here, and here it implies that 1 is less than x less than 3 and so I can conclude that the absolute value of x is less than 3. Okay, Now what that means is if absolute x minus 2 is less than 1 then absolute value of x squared minus 4 is less than this and then by the triangle inequality this thing is smaller than this thing and now I just found that absolute x is less than uh, 3, so I can put a 3 here and say that this is smaller than or equal to 5 times this. So the right answer, or a right answer, there's always going to be infinitely many if there is one, is to let delta be smaller than or equal to the minimum of 1 and epsilon over 5. Now why does this work? Well, since delta is less than 1, and since I'm taking x minus 2 less than delta, it implies that this inequality holds. And now, since delta is less than epsilon over 5, I could put an epsilon over 5 here, and I find that this is less than epsilon. And that is what we wanted to show.